Welcome back. Yes, we are back for the second episode of Untwala Talks. If you have not watched the first one, please run there right now, right now. Go and watch it. There's so much drama in there and I hope Banali enjoyed it. So, we're here for this episode. Let me first ask you a question. Have you ever dated a married guy? Ah, hmm? uh, I have. <laughs> And that story is coming. Anyway, so last episode I was talking about how I've been expressive. So I'll just, the journey. And where I stopped is I was dating John and romance. What? Banange walks in the night sky in, in Uganda. Anyway, and everything was going so well. And then along the way, because I really didn't understand my emotions and I didn't really understand what I was going through. For me, I just feel things. I crash, we go. I feel we go. Well, all those things. So me, I was just, eh, we just go. So I didn't understand my emotions. And so something happened. So John, I don't know if all guys do this. Sometimes when they're going through a hard time, and that time it was just work was so much. Things were just happening. He kind of withdrew. And when he withdrew, Solomon didn't know what to do with the space because Solomon and space don't work together. Me, I wanted the person always calling, texting, sending all those emails. I just thought about you, over sending flowers. Like, you have to be in my face. So when there was space, I was just thinking, what do I do with the space? I don't know what to do with the space. And I'm feeling all these emotions. So do you know what happened? I started emotional attachments. I met a guy. I don't know where he came from but this guy came let me call him Sam Sam came hmm? he won't come back all this is campus jazz <laughs> he came and Manange he was just hot heavy first of all he had a way with English language he for me anyone who knows me person may like using big words and so if a guy comes and he's speaking just the language of a poetry and eh, eh, what over the sky the shakes and want the night sky you are as if that day my god the guy had a way with English and he spoke so well and he was cute and my boyfriend then John was not around so Sam was around so hey let us enjoy ourselves here and so we're hot, heavy, and it always lasted two weeks. So Banange were feeling each other. And I remember this guy telling me, Escort me to Mary Stewart Banange, and they closed the gate at a certain point. So we're there on the bars, loving each other. Banange, I don't want to go now. I want to go. I don't want to go. Hey, people. Hey. I swear, this love. <laughs> I should. I, the next boyfriend we're going to do about what that jet. Anyway, but that was Sam. Another one came because there used to be not a number of withdrawals it's just that i just never knew what to do with the space so another example this other guy let me call him tom so tom came and this time he's a church boy we're in the same circles we are in the lord jesus christ we speak fire so tom comes and he's musical he's nice He's, he was younger than me, so you know, young boys were mag. Anywho, let me move on. So um, he came and Tom was just, he was just lovely. And he just found me in a place when I just wanted something fresh and funky. And Tom was around. We used to take night walks together. You guys, by the way, I'm still dating who? John. But I'm here with Tom. Night walks, what, what, the nange, kissing each other. Oba bichi, tulimu Jesus on Sunday, go and lead worship. Manang, Jesus at Wagadenyo. Anywho, let's move on. By this guy, I remember the one thing. We had the Spider-Man kiss. But Spider-Man had just come out that year. But anyway, he, hello, you people. I just, I'm one of those. I like, I'm, I'm so expressive and I think I like experimenting not to husband. So anywho, that was Tom. Now, moving on. So, P.S., I'm still dating who? John. And things were going well. But of course, because of these emotional attachments, each time I would get back to, to the, my boyfriend, there was just a distance and just things were starting not to work out. And so I met another guy. And this time he was married and he was a pastor. And we're just in, the, in, in the, an event together. And so 
I actually remember even asking him about relationship help and he was giving me wisdom and all those things. And we just connected, you know, just connected. And he was also happy, go lucky like me, energy, what, what, what. So we connected. And so, guys, I got emotionally attached to this guy. Like, for real. Like, I was having the feelings. And for me, at that time, I didn't understand my emotions. So, for me, I was just going full throttle. So, texting and SMSing. We didn't have WhatsApp at that time. Mm, that old. So, we're just talking, you know. And then, interestingly, he would, I would call maybe late in the night. And over his wife has come back. Over she has just come back. Or I'm with the kids. You know, like, I'd become the other chick mm. me worship leader child mm. yes and interestingly i was just i you know how you don't see that this is happening for you're just thinking i'm just feeling this i'm feeling this then you feel bad after but you i couldn't stop myself because i didn't even know how to stop myself anyway and so i remember him telling me banange the 80 20 rule do you know about the 80 20 me did i know about it no 80 20 rule so he said that he asked me a question have you ever met it was when outside the gate or my parents home you people parents need to know he was asking me so solome have you ever met someone and they are just the 80 percent you pass the 80 percent of course i felt so dope and did I think he was going to leave his wife? No. But just that conversation made me feel, oh my God, I'm the 80, Banange. Oh my gosh. Yes, he said, so I'm the 80. And supposedly his wife was the 20. And so I felt bad that Bambi ended up, Bambi not happy and he's not happy. And maybe I could make him happy or not. But you guys, I was just in an entanglement. Is the truth of the Maras. I was in an entanglement. And so it went on for a while until something happened. <laughs> See you next time again on Ntwala Talks. It's been your girl, Solome Basuta. Everything love, everything fun, and everything walala. Love you guys. Mwah.